Parkinson has become quite common. It is much more common as compared to before. And we are getting a lot of queries for treatment of Parkinson's disease. What is Parkinson's disease? In Parkinson's disease, a chemical in the brain, dopamine, there is deficiency of that. It is produced less than is required or is destroyed too early due to which the control of the muscles of the body is affected. The patient has to exert more for his movements as there is more rigidity, there is tremor and it becomes difficult for patient to pick up things or sometimes even to drink tea or coffee. And as things carry on, a patient when he's walking, he becomes unstable and there's a tendency to fall because first he has difficulty starting to walk and after he starts walking, it becomes difficult for him to stop himself from walking. When this increases, a lot of other things come up like anxiety, depression, Later on, patient becomes bedridden, he cannot walk. So it's a very serious issue. And it becomes a difficult situation for the whole family because someone is required all the time to look after such patients. Till now, the treatments available were medicines like dopamine, syndopa, and a lot of other medicines. And gradually, as the disease increase, they keep on increasing. And sometimes, in most of the cases, in fact, uh, they had, after doses increased, a time comes when nothing more can be done. We studied this and we found that there are two very promising treatments which have come up. One is the surgery, which should be, I always say surgery should be the last resort. The other is the equipment known as ECP, many also call it EECP. We have been using this treatment for the heart and other conditions since a very long time, since uh, over 20 years. With ECP, there's increased blood flow to the brain by around 22%. When this increases, that's the blood flow to the brain, the brain gets more oxygen and nutrients. The brain functions better. And it is thought that the chemicals which are deficient, even their formation may increase. A lot of research was done and two important studies, one published in Aging Medicine, showed that 87.9% that is of 100 patients who were treated, nearly 90% improved with ECP treatment. In another study where they compared the treatment with medicine with that of ECP, it showed that 92% patients with ECP improved as compared with 81% with medicines. It is very surprising because till now we had no other treatment for Parkinson other than medicines. But with this amazing result, we decided to go ahead and treat patients with ECP. So now we have started treating Parkinson patients with ECP. And the reports say that in around 14-15 uh, sittings, that is in about half a month, the patient starts improving. And totally around 40 sittings are required. Some patients may require more than that. Of course, it depends from patient to patient how severe the condition is. But seeing that till now nothing could be done, such an amazing result I think it is a treatment which should be tried by every Parkinson patient. So what we advise is that since most patients are reported to improve by 14 settings, that we should do 14 settings. If patient starts improving, continue, otherwise think of something else. What a patient should do to avail this treatment is to, first of all, read as much as possible about it. You can write to us, we will send you a free ebook on this. After that, you can take an appointment and come for treatment. Or if you are at a distance, I can understand the difficulties with such patients. They can take online consultation 
they can contact us for online consultation. We will tell them what can be done for them. And then if things are okay, if uh, we can treat, then I think we should go ahead with this treatment because we expect a wonderful result. What is done in ECP is that a patient lies on the bed. Most patients only have leg cuffs. Uh, we have developed the arm cuffs as well in our machine. And with these arm cuffs, the blood flow increases 15% more. So it becomes more effective. When we start the treatment, we like to assess the patient. Patient can make his own video. He can assess himself way how much disease he's got. He can sign daily and see how his signature improves. He can record his voice and see how the voice changes. And up till 14 sittings, we expect it to start improving. But to have a prolonged effect, we advise at least 35 to 40 sittings. So if you are interested, you can get in touch with us and we'll guide you how we can go ahead and we'll send you all the literature about it. So you can yourself study about it before deciding on the treatment. Thank you. Thank you very much.